So why does this uh, matter that the rich uh, are getting richer? It matters first because uh, the changes have been so enormous that they really dramatically affect uh, our uh, evaluation or uh, the sense we get about uh, macroeconomic growth. So just to illustrate this, if you look at the recent period, 1993 to 2010, average real income growth per family has been 14%, which over a 17-year period is actually a pretty small, modest growth. However, the top 1% increased by uh, 58%, so that when you remove the top 1% and you focus only on the bottom uh, 99%, the growth of per family, pre-tax per family uh, income was only 6.4%, so less than half uh, of uh, the growth uh, of the average. So that's why when you hear about macroeconomic growth, you hear about overall average growth, but you can see that the experience for the vast uh, majority, here we are talking about the bottom 99%, is uh, sharply different because uh, uh, of this increase in uh, income uh, concentration. So uh, further down this table, I, I break down uh, the growth in various uh, periods. So let me uh, just say uh, this, that uh, the Great Recession uh, hit dramatically incomes. Of course, you know, the top 1% were hit particularly hard because of the, of, of the collapse in uh, 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 stock prices, but the bottom 99% lost 12% in real income during the Great Recession, which is something that had not been seen uh, since the Great Depression uh, in the United States. And so what is uh, perhaps most worrisome in that table is that for the last year, that is 2009 to 2010, the, when income started increasing uh, again in that first year, actually, uh, pretty much uh, all the growth was captured by the top 1%. That in, those, their incomes increased over 11%, while the bottom 99% basically saw uh, zero uh, uh, gains uh, in real terms. 